Well, an alternative to an MGB, ladies and gentlemen, the TR7, which does make a bit of a pleasant change. Two litre one. I think I've got some keys here, in which case we'll have it fired up. Yeah, I have. Hang on a minute. Bear with me. Oh, there we are. Well enough guys, no smoke. What's a Kenlo fan? Mm. A great big fan on the front. Massive fan. Uh, all that engine can do to turn the fan, let alone anything else. Uh, yeah, what's a Kenlo put on there, doesn't it? Anyhow, but there we are. Solid in there. Inner wings look all good. I took some photographs of the build plaques and so forth, and number. No rot issues on the bonnet. Had some Recaro's added at some stage inside, so she's got some Recaro upgrades. Other than that, pretty well standard inside, period radio, standard gear knob, steering wheel and so forth, 49,000 miles on the clock. We can't guarantee that, obviously. Just got to use common sense on that one. Good on the door bottoms. Quite smart and tidy inside, no cracks on the dash. I've left the hood up. Because everyone wants to know what the hood's like, obviously. Even though, let's be fair, 99% of the time when you own it, the hood will be down. But, um, but still, you need an ice hood, don't you? Um, pulled the covers back just to uh, show off the boot floor there. No concerns there. Real good on the boot floor from what I can see. As is the inside of the boot lid. So I'll give you a little tour around the outside. Sat on a set of wolf race alloys. Obviously blue with light blue hood. Just a bit different than the norm, aren't they? Like I said at the beginning of this video, you see MGBs everywhere. Just make a bit of a change. And just as easy to run as an MGB. So there you go. Little TR7 Roadster.